the first edition of Frederick Catherwood's Views of Ancient Monuments in Central America. I'm Adam Douglas from Peter Harrington, and I'd like to show you this very handsome tinted lithograph book. I'll use a cushion to display it, and we can take a look. So if I open the book, we can see that this is, um, here's the chromolithograph title page, uh, done actually by Owen Jones. Um, but these are illustrations by Frederick Catherwood, who went to Central America with John Stevens. They produced three books um, based on their travels, but this is by far the largest and grandest. And there we see the dedication um, is Catherwood dedicating it to Stevens. And there is an introduction which gives um, some account of the ruins that they saw. And then there are descriptions of the plates. There's a map of their travels in Central America and Yucatan Peninsula. And um, then the plates themselves, which are tinted lithographs. So they're not the full color that one sees in some acritint books, but these are d done tinted, printed tint, tint on the lithographs. And there's various scenery that we see. Here's a broken idol at Kapan. Kapan was the site that first inspired them to travel to Mexico. It was the first site they'd heard of and the one they wanted to see. So there are various idols. And they managed to get a huge amount of drama into these images, I think, with the uh, recessed depths of the jungle behind them. There's a particularly dramatic one. They've this very clever use of light within the images. And this is a very handsome book, well-known book, obviously, um, for the antiquities of Central America. And this there, best known book. The book's in its original binding with the uh, title printed on the front cover. And it uh, has Morocco, green Morocco backed spine. Uh, it's a book that tends to fall apart. The, the, um, the contents tend to fall out and this has actually been restitched so that it is sound in the binding. And so it can be looked at and handled with safety, um, which is obviously a good thing because it is really a, a book that uh, one wants to pour over and look through and to see all the details. There's a full description of the book and other aquatint books of this era on the Peter Harrington website.